Hi, it's Jack at Bex, etc. And today I'm going to run you through a little ankle mobility routine. Uh, a lot of us suffer from tight ankles, so this is a good one. Uh, you may know who you are. So, first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to roll out our calves and our feet. Uh, this is really important because a lot of times if we've got tight calves, we've got tight ankles and vice versa. And rolling out the feet will activate, will wake up the, 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 the foot fascia, which again will affect your ankle uh, mobility as well. So, for the calf, you can often use a foam, a good old foam roller, and you just want to go you know, reasonably slowly back and forth on your calf muscle. Pay particular attention if there's any part that hurts, it means it's pretty tight. You can add a little extra pressure on it by putting your other leg on top. Um, you, can, you can rotate the leg a little bit to get the outside of the calf, and then in to get more of the inside. And you want to do that probably for about a minute on each calf. Then, onto the feet, uh, you can use a ball, uh, you can use a golf ball. This is a nice specialized foot rolling rubber ball. Um, and you can do it standing, or sitting, or half kneeling like I'm doing. And again, you just want to go slowly rub or roll back and forth across the length of the foot. Really pushing into any particularly hurty bits. Again, about a minute or so on either one. And then we want to do some ankle rotations. So, from half kneeling, what we're going to do is we are going to put a little pressure down on our knee to add a little extra stretch in um, through the calf and to get a little more range of motion in the ankle. And just going to rotate. Really push into it so, it's, so, it's, so it feels like a bit of work. And the ankle can, you want to keep the heel down, but the ankle can roll side to side in this process. And like I said, you push down a little bit to get a little extra calf stretch and a little extra range of motion. And you want to do it in both directions. So you can do 10 or 20 reps each direction, each ankle, or just do it for a minute on each, whichever. And then we're going to do some plantar flexion stretch. So, again from half kneeling. So this is, this is plantar flexion, in case you don't know. Stretching the foot out like that. So we can start kneeling nice and straight. This one's a bit of a challenge sometimes. Uh, you want to lift this knee, and so the weight is going right onto the top of your ankle here. And it only takes a little bit to feel a really good stretch there. And you can pulse into it if you want. You can try and hold it for a bit, or do a combination. It gets quite tiring because you're actually also using your, uh, your legs quite well to do it. But sometimes pulsing is easy. You can also, if you have trouble doing that, you can also, and if you're flexible enough, you can bend back and actually just even just push down into your ankle a little bit, like that, to get that good stretch. And again, you want to do, you can do a minute on each ankle, that'd be great. And finally, we want to do a little ankle inversion. Now, a lot of people, particularly if you've sprained your ankle, or turned your ankle inward, which a lot of us have, I know I have, too many times, um, are kind of afraid of, our, of turning our ankles in like this. But, it's important that we do it. First of all, if you have sprained your ankle in the past, you need to develop strength and control in that position. So, um, also, but if you are a bit hypermobile, you can go over really far. Either way, you want to do it. Uh, but you want to, if you're, if, you're, if, if you're a bit stiff, you'll move it, as, you'll, you'll turn your ankle in as far as it'll go. And you can pulse into it, you can push down a little bit with your hands to get a little to load it, because basically you want to get some strength into it as well as mobility. And you, so you can do that. If you're really hypermobile and your ankles really turn over far, it might go pretty far, then you probably don't want to go the full range of motion. So you only do part of the way, but it's, the, the, the process is the same. Still, you want to load into it because you want to, you want to build up that strength. 
we shouldn't shy away from the foot in this position just because we've had injuries there before. So yeah, if you could do a minute on each ankle again, you're going well. Anyway, hope this has been useful. See you next time.